Fast Fashion Mound. Visible from space are just a few testaments to mankind's profound influence on planet Earth. Amongst them are the Great Wall of China, certain metropolitan areas, mines, and agricultural projects. The most recent of these artificial structures which now define the planet occupies a location in the Chilean desert and is made entirely from clothes. Fast fashion has dominated numerous economies for several years now, with consumers all over the world thirsting for the latest trends. To accommodate these demands, large chains of clothing outlets have resorted to producing vast quantities of clothing, often of questionable durability. Inevitably, a large proportion of these clothes don't sell, in which case they often make their way to less developed countries or to Chile's Atacama Desert, where a mountainous heap of unused garments now rises, far from their Chinese and Bangladeshi origins. Most of these clothes were unsold stock surplus sent from the U.S., and the pile has continued to grow to the point it's now visible in satellite imagery. In early 2023, an analysis by satellite photo app SkyFi estimated that the piles of unworn clothes discarded in Chilean desert landfills are believed to weigh more than 39,000 tons, growing larger each day. Situated less than one mile from a nearby impoverished neighborhood, the fast fashion mound could not be sent to regular municipal landfills due to its non-biodegradable nature and harmful chemical content. Shipments continue to arrive in Chile every week, where locals sort through them for anything of value and send the rest to the fast fashion mound. In 2018, the United Nations predicted that the fast fashion industry contributes between 2 and 8 percent of all carbon emissions on Earth, and it's believed that almost 85 percent of textiles are disposed of each year, polluting rivers around the globe and consuming vast quantities of water. Terrifyingly, because of the massive sums of money being made, the fast fashion industry's growth and its enormous mound of waste show no sign of slowing. Tilting the Earth's Axis The survival of the human species hinges on supplies of fresh water, which is why we have gone to such great lengths to divert, control, and manipulate it. Humanity's influences on Earth's water have been so significant that they've even altered the tilt of the planet. As the human population swells, and our appetites become increasingly reliant on steady water supplies for irrigation, production, drinking, washing, and more, our species has altered the position of Earth's axis. Between 1993 and 2010, 2,150 gigatons of water were moved through human activities, and new research suggests that this incredible quantity of liquid has adjusted the planet's mass so substantially that Earth has begun to wobble around its rotational pole. This volume of water, equivalent in weight to more than 13 Mount Everests, has been removed from groundwater reservoirs and displaced, ultimately ending up in the ocean and causing a shift of almost 80 centimeters in Earth's rotational center in an easterly direction over a period of just 17 years. Said one researcher, quote, Our study shows that among climate-related causes, the redistribution of groundwater actually has the largest impact on the drift of the rotational pole. Additionally, it's believed that the redistribution of the planet's liquids may have caused the global sea level to rise, which has significant implications for global rises in oceanic and atmospheric temperatures. Other redistributions of Earth's water have had a statistically significant impact on its orientation, such as the Three Gorges Dam in China, which is the largest dam in the world and the world's largest concrete structure. Costing around $37 billion to build, the 1.4-mile-long hydroelectric dam crosses Asia's longest river, the Yangtze. By holding back up to 42 billion tons of water, it's been claimed in recent years that this dam, which was built more than two decades ago, has been slowing the Earth's rotation, making each day slightly longer than the last due to a decreased centrifugal force. The monumental impact of hydrological projects on the planet puts into perspective just how influential our industrial endeavors can be. Microplastic Contamination Most of us are now aware that microplastics, tiny and hazardous particles, have insidiously spread due to corporate negligence in manufacturing. These unseen invaders, present in everyday items, 
have permeated natural ecosystems, causing unseen damage. Yet, a surprising discovery in a Missouri cave system, which had been closed to the public for 30 years after a severe flash flood, is less known. Despite its isolation, this cave was recently found to have alarmingly high levels of plastic pollution. When a team explored this complex network of caves and tunnels, collecting water samples from different locations, they discovered high levels of plastics in every sample. Two new studies investigating this Missouri cave have revealed that the amount of microplastics in the Earth's waters is much more significant than previously believed, indicating that even the most remote and seemingly untouched areas are not immune to pollution by these harmful particles. Home to fragile ecosystems, the true extent of the damage to natural underground locations is currently unknown. The case of the Missouri Cave is just one example of how humanity's affinity with plastics has cost the Earth dearly, and it illustrates that nowhere on the planet is safe from them. Studies now show that plastics can now be found virtually everywhere on the globe, from the farthest reaches of the ocean, to particles in Earth's clouds and atmosphere, Antarctic ice, and even in human blood, breast milk, and vital organs. Also unknown is precisely how damaging the ingestion of microplastics can be. Preliminary studies in mice showed that they can produce dementia-like symptoms due to the plastic's ability to work its way deep into the brain, and this could potentially extend to human beings as well. Man-made earthquakes Planet Earth has always known seismic shifts and their resulting earthquakes. However, the most recent, and some of the most devastating, are the unique result of human actions. Small earthquakes caused by human activities are nothing new and can result from digging, drilling, and mining. However, much larger events have also been experienced, caused by, amongst other things, the construction of dams, the collecting of water, the extraction of fossil fuels from beneath the Earth's crust, and the production of energy using warmth stored in the ground. The list of potential causes of seismic movements has now grown so long that specific studies have been commissioned to assess the likelihood of significant death and destruction being caused by industrial activities. A database of these incidents has been put together, and it found 728 examples of human-induced earthquakes over the past century and a half. Amongst the most catastrophic results of such activities was a 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Nepal in 2015, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. It has since been associated with groundwater pumping in the region. Another example was the 2008 8.0 magnitude quake in Sichuan, China, which is believed to have been partially caused by the heavy waters of a massive reservoir weighing on geologic fault lines. This earthquake was the 18th most deadly of all time, causing $150 billion in damages, claiming almost 90,000 lives and injuring 374,000 individuals. Furthermore, the frequency with which these events appear to be happening has drastically increased. In the first half of the 20th century, the average number was zero per year. There are now around five man-made earthquakes annually, with 2011 having one per month on average. We still understand relatively little about this phenomenon, as the research field is underdeveloped. Still, we can be sure that there will be many more man-made earthquakes in humanity's future. While nature is capable of some awesome displays of force, the future of the planet appears now to be at the mercy of mankind. Superweeds Since the dawn of agriculture, human farmers have employed additives to nurture their crops and enhance their soil. Now, a number of biologists, weed scientists, and farmers have found themselves at the center of an existential fight. Herbicides, which have been used to kill weeds for many years, no longer appear to be strong enough to tackle modern weeds, and farmers seem to be fighting a losing battle. It began around 2010, when farmers in Kansas started noticing that the weed killer products that had once kept their crops safe were no longer working as well as they had the previous year. There was only one possible explanation. The weeds had rapidly developed an immunity. These superweeds were found to be resistant to herbicides when sprayed in hot weather. Generally, the weeds develop resistance to the herbicides with which they were sprayed when the temperature was over 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, generations of genetic modifications intended to make crops more resilient and productive have paradoxically resulted in stronger superweeds 
that have evolved to compete with the crops rather than other weaker weeds. If weeds go uncontrolled, it's predicted that many critical harvests, including corn and soybeans, could be depleted by 50%, costing American farmers some $43 billion per year. In a race against time, research into producing new agrochemicals capable of fighting off the resistant weeds is underway. Scientists are working hard to determine which herbicide chemicals function well in hotter temperatures. Many farmers and environmental activists now fear that it will be necessary to use stronger chemicals, which would have other adverse effects on local and potentially global ecosystems. Which of these things that humanity has done to Earth is most terrifying? Comment below, and also let me know what other dark corners of the world you want me to explore. Thank you for watching Dark 5. Like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.